Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. We've done videos before about how 3D printing is being used in the medical field for healthcare simulation, but this will blow your mind. Sendaver Labs is a current leader in manufacturing synthetic humans and animals for training in schools, hospitals, military bases. They recently released the Sendaver Advanced Modular Mannequin, or SAM as they call it. It's the only fully customizable, open source, 3D printed simulator in the world. And it's not just a hard plastic mannequin. It simulates breathing, has a soft tissue airway for intubation practice, CPR capability, and even has pulse points that use fluid to generate a realistic pulse. Simulators like this can range from $60,000 to over $100,000. For the introductory price of just under ten dollars you get a life-size 3D printed mannequin, a desktop 3D printer, and a license and lesson for ZBrush CAD software. The idea originated from customer demand for a more customizable simulation experience. The vision is for practitioners to use CAD design to improve upon the existing modules and create new pieces specifically for their own use cases. So they can change the size or even the gender specifications based on what they really need. Soon, there will be an open Sindaver community online where users can upload their designs and share them with others, effectively creating a library of modular solutions to handle any simulation challenge in addition to just being able to print your own replacement parts if something should break. The goal is to improve patient safety by having healthcare providers be more educated. Think about how much time and money can be saved in hospitals if procedures were more accurate and efficient. The mannequins are produced on Lulzbot TAS6 3D printers using Matterhackers PLA. The chest piece alone can take 55 hours to print. 3D printing provides a significant cost savings over silicone, allowing Sindaver to offer SAM at a reasonable price point for anyone on the spectrum of patient care. I got to spend some time with Claire Hobson, an engineer at Sindaver, who helped to design the current modules. She was a business major with a background in game design and 3D printing who became interested in medical simulation after an internship. She purchased a Prusa i3 kit for an independent study in college and is still in shock that her curiosity for this technology has turned into a career. We can't wait to see what the Sindaver user community comes up with to modify and improve upon this groundbreaking open source project. For more information, check out the full article and links below. Have you seen 3D printing making an impact in the medical field? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear about it. I'm Mara and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.